how to create this design in Affinity Photo using procedural texture. First thing to do, let's just quickly show you the layer. Just filled with black, it's just a completely fresh layer, pixel layer. Go to filters and colors and procedural texture. Now I've already got a preset for this, so I'm just gonna quickly go to it. So I'm just down here, noise three. Obviously you will not have that, but here's the actual equation. To add an equation, if you haven't got obviously equations before, you have to go here. Just click here, a little plus, and that will add an equation. And then you can add this equation into that. Now, don't want that. However, the key thing is over here, it's R, G, and B. They're all selected. This has got noise in it. Now you can vary all of these functions. Now sometimes if you change it, it will suddenly go wrong. You can always undo. Also, I've got some parameters here. You notice I've got an A and I've got a B in this. And you can modify it. So you can simply just by changing this, I'll move that out of the way slightly, you can see the result. And that will increase, obviously vertically, that's the R, we'll go the other way. And we go that way, you can go, and so on and so on. For some weird reason, sometimes when I go up and down, the up and down seems to not work correctly. However, you can also manually enter it as well. So, all kinds of different designs can be created that way. However, you can also modify this equation. Don't have to keep it the same. You can turn around and say, instead of RY there, I've got an RY, which is relative. So you can move it up and down. And that's a great thing with this RY. You can just put a bracket around that. And so you can make it go diagonally. And also you can make variations of that. Instead of Rx, you could put two times Rx in that. So you could just create some variations. Likewise here, instead of just Rx, you can put bracket Rx, then minus Ry, again. So you get a diagonal, or go the other way. So you've got Rx plus Ry. And you can quickly create all kinds of different designs by changing those. But you can also change these as well. This is the noise equation. Please check out the Affinity Photos help. It's got a great help with all the functions that you can use. And noise is one of them. There's stacks and stacks of them. Can't remember them all. But there's like noise there. That's a basic one. But you've also got other noises as well. CR. And you can see just subtle variations, but they are useful. And there's also many other types of noise as well that you could use as part of this equation. However, you might think, you know what? Let's just go back to the original. So there's the original. You might want to add in some color. That's some great. And the easy way to do that, R, G, and B. Go down here to the plus. Now, of course, when you add this, you end up with this result. I don't want that, but I want G and B deselected, A deselected there. And I'm gonna go for G and B. So R, G, and B. And you can put that equation to simply copy and paste, and the result will be exactly the same as before, but now it's split, split over those channels, the red, the green, and the blue. So you can turn around and say, well, not modifying those, but you can always put, say, bracket Rx, maybe make a shift in it, so, so 100, bracket. So you just shift it by 100. You can go to this one, Ry, put a bracket, Ry, plus 200, and you could, of course, put a custom input. I'm just using the example 200 and you can see then you got that and maybe again down here maybe Ry minus 20 and so on. So you can create a variety of different colourful variations simply just by putting just slight changes there or modifying this. So maybe instead of having 200 have 100. Make it 400 and you can see the result and that creates all kinds of different color effects. And of course, what you can do, you can always go to the presets up here and you can say create preset and you can call this noise six or whatever and click create. And of course, once you're finished, just click apply and then you've got your design, your layer that's been whole loads of different colors, which you of course can then manipulate. You can also go to layer, go to new layer filter layer and go down to colors and procedural texture. 
And with that, you can go to the preset, just makes it quick and easy, just to go to that noise preset again, and you can see now you've got the result there. You can tweak the settings here, just change those again. So sometimes when I click that one, it certainly should be going up, goes down. And also you've got blend modes. So you can go through these and say, oh, let's go for dark color. So you can create a variety of different designs combining the live filter effect as well as the original. And obviously light and screen color dodge, soft light, let's go for difference and many, many more. And close that and you can see the result of that. So you can create some literally infinite color designs using this approach. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please put in the comments below. Always great to hear. I say, please copy that equation. Perfectly free to take that and adapt it, modify it in all kinds of different ways. Thank you much.